Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, American tactical attack bomber developed by Lockheed Martin Company at the end of 1970s, the first operational aircraft based on the stealth technology. The possibility of creating a combat aircraft which would be invisible to enemy radars was a dream of all military air forces since the invention of air defense locators. Even during the World War II, German aircraft designers tried to make their fighters and bombers invisible. That work continued after the war within various research programs. During 1960s, some technologies were actively used within the high-speed reconnaissance aircraft SR-71 Blackbird project. However, in development, speed prevailed over invisibility. The aircraft was equipped with two huge jet engines, and the hull was overheating during the flight. Blackbird did not become invisible. Nevertheless, the potential was noticeable. In 1975, after the request of the Pentagon, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, and Lockheed Martin Aviation Company began the development of a new project named Have Blue, aimed to create a practical applications to stealth technology of future aircraft. In 1977, the prototype created by Skunk Works Research Center made its maiden flight. That was a success. The Pentagon formed the special committee named XCOM, whose task was to develop the stealth technology to the level of practical military appliance. Based on Have Blue developments, this committee sanctioned the ATB program, which became the B-2 Spirit strategic bomber, the Senior Pram program, the stealth cruise missile ACM and finally the senior trend program, which resulted in creation of the F-117 aircraft. The general part of works on Have Blue and senior trend programs were developed by Skunk Works. The contract on the future F-117 have been given to owner of that labs, the Lockheed Martin Company. All works were top secret. The evidence of that is the name of the aircraft, F-117, which haven't been in general line of military jets, F-14, F-15, F-16, and so on. According to the unspoken rule, in the US Air Force three-digit numbers were received by secret projects. Discussion about those jets outside the work zones were, let's say, undesirable. The design of the aircraft is based on stealth technology. The plane itself is constructed according to the flying wind aerodynamic scheme with V-shaped tail. A swept wing and sharp leading edge are very unusual for subsonic aircrafts. F-117 wing profile is complied by straight lines, the fuselage is formed by flat and triangular panels, which are positioned relative to each other to reflect electromagnetic waves away from the enemy radars. The flat air intakes are located above the wing, on both sides of the fuselage. They have a special partitions made of radio-absorbing materials. A part of cold air stream is separated at the inlet of the air intakes and, bypassing the engines, get into the flat nozzles, shielded by the wing and covered with heat-absorbing ceramic panels. This system reduces the infrared visibility of the aircraft. The composite materials and radio-absorbing coatings are widely used in 170's design. Only 10% of the structure is made of metals. As a result, the radar cross-section of Nighthawk is about 0.001 to 0.025 square meters, which is massively smaller than that indicators of conventional aircraft of similar sizes. It has to be noted that the high-speed performance is paid by low flight characteristics. The aircraft is very difficult to control. A complex computer system on board was developed just to let it stay stable in the air. Naturally, if the F-117 is visually detected by enemy fighters, it is doomed. That plane's speed and maneuvering performance were much worse than conventional modern military jets. In addition, the stealthy forms of the airframe completely excluded the possibility of breaking the sound barrier. Nevertheless, while criticizing the Nighthawk, we should keep in mind that F-117 is a tactical bomber, not a fighter. It was not designed for air combat maneuvering at all. The weapon compartment has two sections with a retractable holdoff system. Typical armament is two controlled aerial bombs of different types – GBU-10, GBU-12, GBU-27 or GBU-31 JDAM. The F-117 is also able to use nuclear weapons – the B-61 340-kiloton aviation nuclear bomb. All operational F-117 aircrafts have been produced in F-117A modification. Totally, 64 jets have been delivered into the US Air Force by the year 1990. 
The fact of 117 existence was first officially recognized in November 1988 when the Pentagon issued a press release describing the history of its creation and unveiled one retouched photo. The first public display of two F-170s took place on April 1990. It was introduced at the Paris Air Show only in 1991, after the desert storm operation in Iraq. During the entire operation history of Nighthawks, according to official data, seven planes have been lost. Six of them were lost in accidents, and one was shut down during the war in Yugoslavia. Totally, during the operation, Nighthawks took part in five U.S. military operations, among them the U.S. invasion of Panama in 1989, Operation Desert Storm, the Persian Gulf War in 1991, Operation Desert Fox, again in Iraq in 1998, NATO war against Yugoslavia in 1999, and finally the Iraq war in 2003. The Air Force planned to use F-117 until 2018, but increased costs of F-22 Raptor program and the obsolescence of the bomber against the new fighters forced them to abandon F-117 for the new F-22. On April 2008, the F-117 Nighthawk was officially decommissioned from the US Air Force. Be sure to subscribe! Fast flights and soft landings to you.